Hi, and welcome to another lab time. Um, these videos are commonly under 10 minutes, so I'll be as quick as I possibly can. And in this one, we're going to start talking about load partial and how we move lots of objects around uh, from one device group to another within Panorama easily and without getting that annoying um, minus one after each object that you then have to go in and revert. So, just quickly, please like and subscribe if you like the video, and subscribe if you do. If you don't, then fair play, but if you do, that would be awesome. Okay, so we've got all these, these addresses here, which, as we all know by now, I'm, my lack of invention uh, leads me to, to name them test address 1 all the way through to 99. Uh, sorry, 100. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to look at our panorama, and we're going to see that we've got these device groups, and we've got our VM London, which is where those objects live. And there's a location we can see this in VM London, and we're going to move them to new firewall. In this particular instance, with only 100 objects to move, we could actually just go through and tick them from top to bottom, but that would be no fun because then the video would be very, very short. However, if anybody's ever got caught by trying to do it this way, and then hold down Shift and do that, and wondering why it doesn't work. It's because it's over the tick box. The way to do it is the bottom one is selected, and then you hold down shift, and select in the white space next to the object, and then that selects all of them. And then you can come down to move, and then you can move it to shared, or we can move it to new firewall, uh, and so on. But, as I say, however, that's so if you've got lots of objects, so for instance, a friend of mine was moving some firewall objects the other day, kind of what prompted the video, uh, and he had over 5,000 objects to move, so that was, that was why. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the API browser. So we're going to go simply to, I'm just going to go here and to API, and that will give us the XML API browser, and then I just want to quickly, for the sake of argument, to quickly log into the uh, the GUI again. Okay. So what we need to do, the syntax is basically we're going to load the partial config from a particular XML branch to another XML branch, and we're going to use a file to pull that config from. Okay. Now that file in this particular instance, we're going to just save another one here. We're going to create a snapshot. So we're going to go to setup. Uh, operations and we're going to save a named configuration snapshot. Now I've already saved one here, I've already saved one called objects, but we're going to save another one because we're going to do it. So we're going to call this objects2. Okay. And in its own time that will save and sync to the peer. Okay, so that's config saved and sync to the peer. So, back on our API browser, because this is a configuration command, we're going to go for configuration commands. And what we'll start to do is we'll start to build up an X path here. And then devices, local host, local domain, device group. And we're going to select the device group where these objects live because this is going to be our from X path. So the VM London firewall and the addresses. Okay, and as you can see, we've got all the addresses in there now. A little trick here is to remember that when we're creating our from path, we actually remove the config, forward slash config, forward slash, and just devices. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to copy that to a notepad. Okay, so I'm just going to get it from there because then it's going to make life easier as we go further on. And copy it from there. Okay. And that's going to become our from path. Okay, now going back, if I go back to configuration commands, devices, local host, local domain, device group, new firewall, and then address. This gives us our two path, and you can see at the minute it's empty. So we're just going to copy that, and I'm going to paste that into my currently off-screen notepad. An interesting side note is if you don't have the target um, device group, so if you don't have, in this instance, new firewall, but you create, you use this exact same string 
and just put your new device group that you want to create in there, it will actually create the device group during the, the, the command. Okay, right, so just to prove this, so we're going to go back to objects. I'm going to go to our new firewall. These are the objects that are in our new firewall. And now we're going to pull the command line in. That was smooth. Okay, and then we're going to go to configure. All right, and as we're going to talk our way through this, so we know that our, our file that we're going to get this from is objects too. Now, the syntax on the, uh, the vendor documentation tends to suggest that the from, as you'll see in a minute, has to be at the start. It doesn't work, or at least it doesn't work for me, which, you know, I mean, read into that what you will. So, load config partial, and then we have the mode that we're going to do. So, th those modes are append, merge, and replace, which are pretty much self-explanatory. Replace is replace, merge is merge with the current config, and append is append. Uh, the general one that we'd you, you would use is merge, unless you're trying to um, completely overwrite a device group, or a, a, in this particular instance, a branch, so you'd remove the branch and you'd replace it, or you'd append it and stick it on the end. We're going to use merge. Okay, so now we've got our other, we've got our other op, uh, options here. So we get our from X path now to X path, and then from the file name. You can, this will also work with security rules as well. Um, so it, you know it, it's anything in the XML branch basically so we're going to do our from XPath and that is going to be our first string string call it a string yeah I guess it's a string it looks like a string anyway and then we're going to do to XPath and this is where we're going to go to now so we are going to copy and say it, it all becomes fairly self-explanatory. It's just it's something that um, I think people get sort of a little bit confused with all the the forward slashes. I certainly did, and the local host, local domain, everything like that becomes. Oh, how, how do I even work that out? But the the API browser is is fantastic. Okay, so what we're saying is that we're going to merge from this branch, the addresses, to this branch. Okay, on the address branch, right? So then we also need to tell it where to pull that from because we're loading this config from a file. So we're going to go from objects and I should have two values there, which I do, and that's not going to work either. Okay, so now what we're saying is basically we're going to load, we're going to look for in objects to this branch and we're going to move. So we're going to load the config from that branch and we're going to send it to this branch and it's going to be from objects to. Okay, give it a minute to think about it. Hopefully it doesn't throw an error. Oh, awesome, and it's worked. So, we'll just move this out of the way. And now if we go to new firewall, which is there, we can see we've got our objects, and then we just do a commit. So then we commit to Panorama. Uh, full a full commit is required because you've done a load partial, so effectively you've you've loaded a config into the device, but you've only loaded part of it. And whilst that's doing that, we'll just see. So this will also work. Um, these are breadcrumbs, I believe they're called. Um, I really should have looked into that before I said it. So we've got the configuration commands, and we can come from uh, devices, local host, local domain, to device group. So within our VM London firewalls, these are the things that we can move across. So if we wanted to move tags across, we could move tags across. If we wanted to move security policies, remember this is Panorama, so you've got a pre-rule base and a post-rule base. So if you look in the pre-rule base and then you've got the application override, the authentication decryption, we're looking for security rules there. If we look for security and then rules, and then we can see our security rules there. And moving them across would also be the same, the same thing. So that's how you do a load partial. The, uh, the config is committed now, so we've moved all these from here, and we've uh, we've moved them into there, so they've now been replicated. The same thing again, obviously, you could move them into standalone firewalls and then move the new firewall into there, and then they would inherit that. They would inherit those those things, those objects, uh, and you can also delete sort of a, a, a branch. Um, so that's it for now for load partial for now. Um, any comments, welcome as always. 
Uh, and if you want to, if you want me to expand on anything within low partial or sort of do another video with showing moving different things or look further into the API, which I really should do anyway, uh, and the REST API version, then just please let me know. Uh, but other than that, thanks for watching and I'll catch you again soon.